I know this movie has been out for over two months already, but I was busy with other projects back then, and not to mention I had exams as well around the time this movie released. But hey, now that's all over, and I can finally get this video out, so let's go right into it. Also, there will be major spoilers in case you didn't read the title. So, Jurassic World Dominion. Eh, uh, it's mid at best. It's disappointing, really. I mean, this was my most anticipated film of 2022. But then we get this. For starters, they focus the majority of the plot on low cost. Fucking low cost. This is Jurassic World, not a bug's life. I mean, I guess it could have been an interesting side plot, but as a main plot? No, not at all. Okay, what else is there? Uh, that middle finger scene was funny. Better than the middle finger scene in King of the Monsters, that's for damn sure. Oh, and before you ask, yes, I think King of the Monsters is an overall better movie than Dominion. Yeah, I said it. Why are you booing me? I'm right. Anyway, the visuals are pretty good, obviously. Um, I don't know guys, I'm really trying. Oh, here's something major. The cast. I don't know if it's just me, but I think Chris Pratt feels a bit watered down. Like seriously, every time there's a dinosaur on screen, he looks like he's about to use the force. I mean, it was nice to see the cast from the first Jurassic Park movie back, but they don't really serve a purpose in this movie. Kinda disappointing, not gonna lie. Oh, and how about the main villain? Lewis Dodson. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! See, nobody cares. When your main villain does something like this... <laughs> that is not a good sign, especially if he's supposed to be like, the most evil human in the Jurassic franchise. But hey, he got what he deserved at least, so there's that. Okay, talking about people is kind of boring, so... DINOSAURS! Blue is completely useless. <laughs> Rexy is filled to the brim with plot armor. The fairy... is kind of cool, not gonna lie. But then there's the Giga. Before I say anything, let me ask you something. Remember that prologue scene that was released when Fast and Furious 9 came out? That scene was not in the motherfucking movie. Okay, that's an actual dick move. I'm actually pissed. Anyway, the Giga, which according to YouTube commenters, his name is Zeb, he is supposed to be the big bad dinosaur, the largest carnivore ever known to man. Disappointment in the game of life. Not enough screen time, and by the way, was promised to be the Joker of the Jurassic franchise. Ha! Give that title to the Indominus for all I care. Anyway, Zeb did not feel like a villain in this movie. Hell, even the fairy was more of a villain than Zeb. I mean, come on, it, it would be pretty interesting to see a herbivore as a villain for once, am I right? <laughs> then there's the final battle. Boo, you stink! Way too short. Zeb got nerfed horribly. Look, Zeb is supposed to outclass Rexy in, in every category, no contest whatsoever. But here, while wounded, I might add, she literally pushes Zeb into the fairy's claws. I'm telling you, the final battle in the first Jurassic World movie is a hell of a lot better than this shit. I mean, come on, at least the Indoraptor got an on-screen kill. Anyway, there's the ending. So, you know how in the beginning, people are, are saying stuff like, Oh, the humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. And shit, you know? But now, they, suddenly, they can? Even though nothing happened. Okay, I'll admit, I did like the scene of Rexy finding the fucking doe from the Lost World. That was nice. And the scenes with, di with the dinosaurs coexisting with modern life is beautiful to see for some reason. I don't know why, but it just is. Okay, I've been practically shitting on this movie throughout this entire video, but is it all that bad? Not really. Honestly, I don't even know. I'm probably not gonna rewatch this though, mainly because this movie feels like a slap in the face to longtime Jurassic Park fans. Which, speaking of that, none of the sequels ever, and I mean 
ever hit as hard as the first Jurassic Park movie. I should make a video about the first movie at some point. But anyway, the Jurassic franchise, I view it as one masterpiece with one good movie, as well as four fine and or mediocre movies. I rate Jurassic World Dominion a 5 out of 10. So, what am I doing next? Well, we got another rant video. It is about one of, if not the worst sequels ever made, Surf's Up 2 Wave Mania. So I hope you look forward to that as well as, as my other projects and let's plays, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya, chump.